All right, so this video is going to outline the expectations of your first project in HTML. And can I show you an example of what I expect on this project? So it says, in this programming assignment, you will be creating a web page that displays information about you. You will do simple formatting, include a picture, work with lists, arrange your web page in an attractive manner. So you're going to start your code with this chunk here. So I want you, this is actually an HTML comment. So the top of your code should contain this piece. It has the less than sign and exclamation point, two dashes. And I need you to put your name, date, course and period, my name because I teach the class, and then unit one, program B, and then close the comment here. So adding that comment in actually just the computer and the browser won't actually read it, but it's there for me when I'm grading your project so I can see whose project this is. And then it says, this should be followed by a brief explanation of the purpose of this program. So I want you to just have a brief second comment that outlines what this project's purpose is. And the purpose of this project is to have you tell me something about yourself by creating a website about yourself. So you'll then need to turn this in. I will show you how to do that in a separate video so that you know exactly where this is going to go. But with that being said, I do wanna read through this bottom portion here so that you know what is supposed to exactly be on your web page. So it says, because of your immense popularity, you decide to create a web page telling users a little bit about yourself. You decide to share information about some of your likes and dislikes, your career goals, your job experiences, areas of interest, and about your family even decide to include a picture of yourself. So it says create this web page as a part of your project. Be sure to include the following. So these bullet points are things that you need to have within your program. They absolutely need to be there. If you want to add more and tell me more about yourself in more ways, that is fine. But all of these components need to be there. And something I want you to note is they don't have to be in any particular order. They just need to be present in your web page. So as long as they're all there, you're good to go. So you'll need to have a paragraph describing your background. So you can see I labeled that the basics and I talk about who I am, where I was born, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm gonna warn you in advance, this is a little bit old. I've lived in Waukesha, Wisconsin for longer than this now, but it's a good example of what you should be doing in your project. So you have one paragraph detailing basic information about you. Then says an unordered list of your hobbies and interests. So notice that mine doesn't necessarily go in order, but you can find my hobbies and interests down here. And I have an unordered list of my hobbies. Then it says, I also want an unordered list of your pets from over the years. Now it says, use a different bullet than the previous list. So you'll notice that for here, down here, I have my pets that has a disc and up here, my hobbies and interests has a circle. So make sure that you're using different bullets to show me that you know how to use the attribute that does that. Then I need an ordered list of your five favorite foods that use numbers. So you'll notice that my favorite foods use numbers. And then I have my five favorite teachers using Roman numerals. So right here, five favorite teachers using Roman numerals. It says then a definition list of your job and you need a minimum of three. For the definition term, use the name of the employer. And for the definition description, write a short description of your job responsibilities. So you can see I did that down here. I have my coaching experience, my lifeguard experience, tutoring, my different teaching jobs, et cetera, et cetera. Then says a paragraph of what you hope to study after high school and where you would like to go. So that is my academic goals. And I talk about how now I'm currently enrolled in a master's program where I'll graduate in the summer of 2018. So those are my academic goals after, well, I did after college for this class. You guys should do after high school. And then I need a paragraph about your career goals as well. And here I actually talk about how I wanted to be a math teacher when I was 12. I then need to see a background color that is non-white. So I picked my favorite color of pink. You can do that in a variety of ways. I don't care what color you pick. But whatever color you pick, do make sure that I can read the text on the background. If it's a super dark blue with black writing, I really can't read that so well. And I have not yet taught you how to change the color of text. That's in a future chapter. So make sure whatever background you pick, I can still read your text. Then it says a main heading to act as your title that is centered horizontally. So you can see that up here. I have the all about me. It says each section should have its own appropriate heading. So notice how I have a heading in each section, makes the section pop out and gives it some detail. 
Then says each section should be separated by a horizontal line. So you can see that horizontal line in there after each section. And then it says, finally, you should have a picture or something that represents you. So in this video, I put a picture of my cat, Tiger. You can put a picture of you doing one of your favorite hobbies, something like that. It's completely up to you. And then it says your web page may be in a different order than listed above. If you don't have enough information for some of the lists, for example, if you've had no pets or you haven't held a job, you can make something up. And, but please just put three things in each list. Otherwise, if maybe you know you don't want to make something up, you can think of another topic. So if you haven't had any pets, just think of something else that you could list about yourself with three bullet points. Just get it checked off by me and I will probably say yes as long as it's something about you that uses an unordered list. It says grading for this project will include having all of the above requirements, having easy to read code. So that means using indentations, making it really, really simple to read so that when I look at your code, I can see exactly where things line up using spacing, things like that. It says, and having an attractive, organized design to your page. So notice that this page is pretty easy to read. Things are pretty consistent. I have good spacing. All the words are spelled correctly, things like that. In web design, appearance does matter. So make sure that it looks nice. And throughout this class, I will begin teaching you more ways to actually make your web page look nicer. So that's going to be a big focus, not only getting the code correct, but making sure that we have an attractive, organized design to our web page. So there's a summary of your first web page. Good luck. Be creative.